Hey, so this is a really quick request for um, Maddie Davis Moore in one of the customization groups. You wanted to create this effect on 7.1. It's pretty easy. I'm just going to talk you through how I did it. So first thing to bear in mind is go back to a nice plane setup. Um, you're going to need to make sure that your site header is set up the correct way. This is really simple. Edit your site header, go to desktop. Now, if you remove the vertical padding, this will help with things. Um, I would set it to full, not inset. And the header layout you want is this bottom one. From there, I'm just going to close and I'm going to save my changes back here in my custom CSS panel. And so the reason why I've removed the padding, it just makes it easier to set it so that it's only around the element that you want here um, and we're going to fiddle with a few other things now i'm including the cart because i'm just going to show you a really quick css fix for how you can still include the cart but you would need a bit of javascript if you wanted to do it properly so to speak anyways uh, first thing i'm actually going to do is uh, i'm going to target this collection just because i don't want this across my entire site because this is just a demo site that i use um and what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to target that uh, header title element we'll just take a second and i'm going to put a filter on it just because as you can see it's white and it's a bit hard to see so you don't need to do this step this is just for this particular instance unless it's useful for you so First things first, the borders are nice and easy. I've got my inspect tab open though, and you can see that the two wrappers for the uh, logo and for the links, they're not full width. So the quickest way to, uh, to fix that is to select this element here. Ooh, where are we? The, which is the header title nav wrapper. And we just want to make sure that that's spanning the entire width of this the container. So header, title, nav, wrapper, and do with 100%. And we're also, that probably hasn't fixed it. Yep, gonna do flex one. Now it's filling the majority of the container. However, if you've got this cart in here, you'll see that, let's actually, let's enable flex on the parent. So this is the container that carry, that fills sorry, that holds the title and the nav, which are one part, and the header action. So that's like the button, the card, etc., which are another. Now, uh, remove cart if not in use. If you really just want to get rid of the cart and you're not too fast and you just want sort of a quick fix, you can see that the container is uh, this one here. <clears throat> which is the header actions, header actions right in this case. So we can just do header actions, display none. And I might even need an important, let's just have a look to override that. Yeah, let's, let's throw one in. Oh, sorry, it's the S is missing, that's why. There you go. Now we've got a nice full width container. However, if we put our borders on now, it's still not going to span the full width. So if we go up in our inspect, we can see, there it was, header announcement bar wrapper has some side padding on it. That's that green on the sides. Really simple. Let's put this a little bit um, higher up. So this is make full width. Now the padding my site has at the minute, and it will be linked to whatever your site says, mine is six uh, VW, and it's got one pixel padding top and bottom. So I'm just gonna do padding uh, one VW, it's the top and bottom, and then zero. And you see now the containers for width. But what I might actually do is do margin um, zero six VW. I'm sorry, no, actually I don't wanna do that. That's on a different element, forgive me there. So cool, we're all set there. Now we're ready to add those little borders in. So if I look through my inspect tab once again, 
and we've got this element here which is the header title nav wrapper if i just toggle that flex on you can see this is where our dividing lines are going to be rather than putting it on the header title element i'm going to put it onto the next one which is the header nav element and you see that there's a margin on top that's that orange there so to our borders that's the header nav and i'm going to do border top I'm going to do one pixel solid and I'm going to do it at black. And if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that that's drawing from the site's own variables. If you're not sure how to do that, check my other video. I'm also going to do border bottom and I'm going to do one pixel solid and at black. And I know I've made a mistake there. Um, and again, this is just to keep, you know, colors and things consistent across the site. Still not ideal though. So let's get rid of that margin top. And instead, let's just put some padding. And we're going to do, oh, let's see. That margin top initially was uh, 1.6 view width. So let's just match that, why don't we? 1.6 BW. Now that might be a little bit more than what you've wanted here. Maybe in fact that looks like it's probably less. I actually prefer rems, so I'm just going to pick a different value and I'm just going to do 0.5 rem. That looks decent enough. Let's hide these flexbox indicators. However, this is sitting a little bit too close. Um, we know from earlier that we've got this one um, one view width padding. So if we actually remove that from the entire header announcement bar. I know it's looking a little bit tight, but we can put that onto the, where have we gone? The logo element. Now I'm keeping, um, I'm keeping things sort of in the order that they would appear in here, in your inspect tool. So I'm gonna put it just above here, spacing for logo, the element we want to target, have a look is so there's our header title nav wrapper so we just want the header title element easy header title adding uh what was it one bw and zero well it can actually just be one bw it doesn't really matter that might not be enough so let's make it three i think it was now we've got a little bit more space it's pretty much the same as what you would want there now the only thing to um, be wary of here is obviously when you come into mobile view it can make things a little bit tight so you might want to tamper with them a little bit and also if we were to have this cart reappear that's going to throw everything off so a quick and easy solution i might write a longer one with javascript at some point later but a quick and easy solution is just to say position absolute we can look at our values for our padding and things like that. And what we can do is we can say inset, and we want it auto spaced from the top, uh, zero from the right hand side, zero from the bottom, and auto from the left. That pops it over here in the bottom right corner. Then we can remember that we've got this spacing here. So in the bottom, we want that to be 0.5 rem. That's matching this bottom padding. It's still a bit tight. So let's make it six EW from the right hand side, which is kind of in line with the rest of the site's padding. It's still a bit tight. So maybe I make this an entire one rem. And there you go, to all intents and purposes, that works fine on desktop and it's mostly responsive for enough DIY projects. The only thing is up here, you're gonna find that it's a little bit messy. So what we can do is we can select that whole thing. We can wrap it in a media query. So I think I've got my own um, media mobile set up. Nope, I haven't. So I'm just going to define one here. So I'm going to do a max width of 768 pixels. That's 767. That's what Squarespace tends to normally use. Uh, sorry, not a max width, a minimum width. So anything above 767 pixels, it'll make this correction. Otherwise, it'll just stick with the default position. And there you go. It's pretty simple, 
So essentially going back through the CSS, what you're doing, ignore this top bit here, you're removing the padding from the entire sort of nav wrapper, uh, sorry, the entire menu navigation, etc. You're setting the wrapper for the logo and the navigation to span the full width because this padding has got rid of the side padding for you. You're then adding the vertical padding to the logo element so that it spaces it from here, from the navigation. We're adding the borders to the top and bottom of the navigation plus some vertical spacing. And then we are using position absolute to position the um, icons, the, the card icon so that it's in line with the rest of the navigation. There is a little bit more that you need to do with that. Um, if you want it to be, you know, really, really fully responsive and everything, and you'll probably want to fiddle around a little bit more, but that should be enough to get you going. And yeah, hope that helps.